Fall at the Williamson Museum is a very busy time. From our newest exhibit on football, Hut Hut Football in Williamson County, which opens September the 6th to the public, to our largest event of the year, which is the Chisholm Trail event and Cattleman's Ball on October the 19th. We are nonstop every weekend between now and then. My name's Ann Evans, I'm the curator here at the Williamson Museum, and we're excited about our newest exhibit, Hut Hut, Football Comes to Williamson County. We're opening it in celebration of Southwestern's return to football after 63 years. So a large part of the exhibit will focus on Southwestern. We have many photographs and items from them, but also about football throughout the entire county. We are kicking off next week a huge membership drive to, to get more and more Williamson County residents involved with the museum and all the fun things that we do. And looking forward to the fall season where we have better weather for all of our outdoor events. So we have items such as letter jackets from Round Rock High School 1951 by district championship team, all the way to the jacket from Bob Lilly's induction to the NFL Hall of Fame. We also have great items such as Mason Crosby's cleats he plays for the Green Bay Packers and was a Georgetown Eagle, to stories of people like Dickie Magel, a former Taylor Duck who was tackled in the 1954 Cotton Bowl from an Alabama player that came off the bench, ran onto the field without a helmet, and tackled Magel during a 95-yard run for a touchdown. It became one of the most famous plays in Cotton Bowl history and is still shown today and he was from right here in Williamson County. So we have a program, um, we have a play that was produced by one of our members uh, on Three-Legged Willie, uh, The Life and Times of Three-Legged Willie, who our county is named for, and we'll be performing that play September 22nd and 21st at the courthouse here downtown. Uh, we do have our Cattleman's Ball and Chisholm Trail event with our Longhorns, 25 head of Longhorn cattle along the San Gabriel River. Can't go and see anything else like that at a free event. That takes place Saturday, September, I'm sorry, Saturday, October 19th. And then that evening we have the Cattleman's Ball honoring the Avery family of Round Rock. Those four siblings and their ancestors have really transformed this community and so we're looking forward to that. We move right on through the next weekend. We have our ghost tours of downtown. Um, with some wonderful new additions to that, including a scary ghost tour for the first time ever going to be offered. We have our World War II cemetery tour the weekend after that. And two weeks later, we have the addition of our three-legged Willie bronze statue outside in front of the museum. It is a six foot tall, 450 pound statue of three-legged Willie with his hand on a bench. It will be the photo op of the county and that will be here mid-November. So it's a happening time around here. We have lots of fun things going on.